Once upon a time, there was a woman who had lived a long life. It wasn't a bad life. She had her share of joys and achievements, of love, friendship, and family. But as life continued, she also had pains and sorrows. In other words, the woman had a cross to bear. She admitted it was not a big one, but she still felt that it might not be the right one for her. It seemed to be getting too heavy. So one day she went to heaven and demanded a different cross. St. Peter was surprised, but he asked an angel to escort her inside so she could find a cross she felt fit her better. The angel led her to a warehouse. What's this? The woman asked. This is the cross warehouse, said the angel. Everyone who comes here lays his or her cross down before going farther in. You should be able to find one here that suits you. So the woman began shopping around. One time she thought she'd try on an attractive little thing, not too small, but compact enough to not be a strain. However, when she tried lifting it, she realized that it was made of lead. She realized that looking at someone else's cross does not tell us how heavy it might be. For the fun of it, she then tried a big cross that would certainly attract attention. But though it looked big, it was so light that she would have been embarrassed to bear it. In the meantime, the angel was getting impatient. It was after hours, and there's no overtime pay for angels. Just when the angel was about to lose all patience, the woman finally picked up one cross near the door and said, ah, this is the one. Good fit, heavy enough to be an honest to God cross, but not too much for me to handle. The angel exploded, lady, that's the cross you came here with. Cross bearing seems to be an inescapable part of human life. Jesus tells us to welcome our cross Confident that no matter how painful it might be, God's love will not be overwhelmed. But the question remains, why must we carry a cross at all? After all, a cross is not pleasant. It really is a torture to face the big crosses of our lives. Couldn't God just get rid of them for us? Wasn't it enough that Jesus bore his cross? If he's our savior, why wasn't his crucifixion enough to cover for all of us? What good does a cross do me? There must be something about the cross in itself that has value. After all, the church has always said that it is the cross, not the empty tomb, that saves. One of the key messages of the prophets is that God suffers. God is heartbroken over what people do to one another and to themselves when they abandon love. When God came among us, the suffering of God and the suffering of humanity were united in Jesus. The crosses we bear do not merely bring us close to God. They make us like God, God who suffers. Does this mean that suffering is good and we should seek it out for ourselves and not strive to ease it for others? No, suffering is not God's will for the world. The suffering of the world breaks God's heart. Christ's call for us to take up the cross is an invitation to learn that though suffering is always with us and may make us think God is far from us, it is actually a share in the life of God who also takes up the cross.